All right, here's the Armenian Arman Sarukyan, a lightweight that many believe will one day be wearing UFC gold around his waist. The winning streak is in tow, and the strength of schedule has just been fantastic, really dating to the Islam Akashev fight back in 2019. At times, perhaps Sarukyan has been a victim of expectation, but largely he has lived up to what was some appreciable hype when he signed with the UFC back in 2019. He has inched his way towards contention. He's a guy that some have called the boogeyman of lightweight division, a guy that a lot of people don't want to fight. Eventually, you got to fight him. We'll see if he can rise to the occasion here tonight. So here's the undisputed UFC lightweight champion and one of the very best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the world, Islam Akashev. He trained alongside this man for years. He has every skill in the book. And the X Factor tonight is that has blue in his corner. Yeah, that's one of his, his brothers, is what they call him. Islam Akashev, though, is the guy that really does strike fear in so many lightweights' minds. He's a guy that possesses wrestling ability. He's a guy that possesses striking ability. The grappling is second to none. And just his size and physicality is so difficult to deal with. He is a tremendous fighter, and he will be pushed even more forward with the presence of his good friend, Hasbulla. You do wonder, though, if the opposing corner is a little bit intimidated given Hasbulla's presence <laughs> in the Makashev corner. Islam Makashev is ready to go, and that means so are we for our main event. Our tale of the date for this lightweight championship fight. All right, now for the particulars inside the octagon of Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Armin Ahakalakas Darukian! And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, is Makacha! Herb Dean, third Good. party in the octagon Good. tonight. Good. All right, round getting underway, and we take a look at the Combat Sambo world champion and UFC lightweight contender, Islam Akasha. What will he do in this fight? Well, oftentimes he does whatever he wants to do. Certainly he can impose his will on the ground where his game is just so nuanced. Great timing on that belly leg. Yeah, yeah. Lands the grounded pound strike here. Big grounded pound. Oh, nice job to split his guard and get the ground strike home again. Oh, beautiful transition right into side control. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Sarukyan. <laughs> Big right hook there by the champ. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter. He's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. Push off an elbow. 
All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. Moving his head pretty well defensively on the ground here. All right, dominant position here. He's got the full mount. A lot of different ways he can go here. Maybe try to find an arm bar or just get the ground and pound. He can't attack submissions, but those submissions will present themselves once he is landing that brutal ground and pound he is known for. Because then his opponent will start to get a little bit desperate to get out from under him, which will then in turn leave arms dangling or he'll turn to his knees and get choked out. While working pretty effectively from the top here, nice ground and pound by Islam Makasha. All right, dominant position for him here, full mount. If you're the bottom fighter, better start moving those hips, DC. Oh, you gotta start moving those hips. What you should do it. All right, well, he's got him softened up here. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Sarukya. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. So three minutes off the clock in our first round. John getting worked here from the top. Ground and pound strikes raining down. Oh, and there it is. Was only a matter of time. That ground strike has cut him open. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Islam Makashe. Man, another one lands. He's trying to pound his opponent's head through the canvas. Relentless pressure from the top by Islam Akasha. Under a minute now to go. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to start to add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack, not being one-dimensional, not headhunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now, and it's starting to show itself. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Islam Makashe. Take the back. Well, he's got his back now. All right, so a grueling battle on the ground, and no surprise, the crowd pops in appreciation as the fighters work their way back to the This field. is an educated crowd, J.A. They appreciate high-level ground. That's exactly what they got in that exchange. Second round, straight ahead. All right, so that's the end of the round. Pretty significant damage done in that round. Cut on the cheek, sustained there from that strike. Now the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. Better to be below the eye than above it, sure. But nonetheless, this could be a factor now moving forward. Well, well, no surprise to see that eye continue to be targeted. Some replays from the previous round in which a lot of damage was told out. Well, the cut man's got some work to do to try to give this kid an opportunity to stay in the fight because the reality is he has taken far too many shots to the eye and now he's dealing with a nasty cut. He has got to change something. Ready fight? Ready. All right, round two. Another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. And there's the single leg. Makashev's looking to go from the full to the half guard here. Opponent not having it. 
that is a high level transition to half guard and now and, and look at him attacking the arm triangle on the other side he's gonna lock him down try to pass all the way across his body once he gets across he will start to drop his chest to the mat and chase the finish ground strikes landing. Oh, looked like that strike from the bottom fighter got the crowd's attention. Side control now. Oh, it looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but it's nothing to worry about now. But he's got to start to protect it. You can't take all those unanswered strikes. They don't have to be that damaging. Yeah. You just got to move. Elbow. Just over three minutes now to go in round two. Look out for the hook. That was nice. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Grounded him and pounded him. Nice job. And there it is, another strike gets through on the ground. There it is, now he's running home. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Well, you don't blame him for continuing to badger that cut. Things are getting bloody, champ. Yeah, you gotta be careful now because as it bleeds, you gotta worry about the blood going into the eye. Now it's time to start being on high alert. This is some exhausting work, man. I mean, it is so tiring to be fighting in this way. So much wrestling, so much grappling, expending all this energy trying to hold the guy down. I mean, it, 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 no takedown is not fought. No reversal is not fought. Everything they're doing is fought to the very last minute before it gets given up. 90 seconds now to go in our second round. Just misses with a left hook there. Well, he blocked that punch. All right, looks like the ref has paused the action here. Oh, he's gonna call in the doctor to look at that cut. I don't know, John, it looks bad, man. It's a bad cut. I don't know what the decision's gonna be here. It can go either way. All right, looks as though the fight is going to continue. The referee checking on the athlete one more time. A bit surprising. I didn't know if they would let this guy continue, but here we go. Ready to fight. Ready. All right, so some pretty significant adversity here, but the fight is gonna continue. The doctor has left, and the ref gets us back underway. Gets us right back underway, and it doesn't seem like there was too much thought into it. It looked like they were gonna let him fight, and that's exactly what they did, and I could not be happy. Sarigan has got a bruise now starting to appear on the right side of his body. All right, half guard now. Not a fighter you want in half guard against you for the bottom fighter. What does he need to do? He needs to secure his underhook. He's got to be fighting, fighting, fighting for underhook. One of the most key things you can do as a bottom fighter stuck in half guard is try to frame. You frame and push your opponent away from you. By pushing him away from you, he will then want to come back into you. Right. It's like when I push you... Oh, arm triangle attempt now. Ooh, arm triangle's in tight. It's getting that very tight. Oh, he is out. How good is that? That is phenomenal oh, God, submission God. defense by this young man. Oh, Ten minutes God. in the can. Oh. 
All right, so the fighters head back to the stools, and hopefully this fight can continue. That is a severe cut. We'll see if the cut man can do some good work here. Just do not focus on the blood. Don't worry about the cut. Just protect it. Well, that was a damaging five minutes. We'll see how he can recover over the 60 seconds. We'll show you some replays now from that previous round. He was on the receiving end of some big blows, and he wasn't moving his head well. His head was on the center line. He was a stationary target, and his opponent opened up a nasty cut on him. He has got to move his head to limit the damage that he's taking. Ready, fight? Ready. Go. All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. Nice strike. Beautiful level change leads to the table. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Sarukyan. Really good job to land these strikes from top position. Man, he's killing it on the ground. Another strike gets through. Yup. In the half guard. Great job landing the strike from his back. Oh, that cut is getting worse with every passing ground strike as he lands again. Oh, it's getting deep. Getting close to the finish. Oh, he's going to try to slam. Oh, he escaped that submission. Outstanding pressure from top position here by Sarukyan. Well, he has expended a lot of energy going for these submissions tonight. I'm not sure his opponent is actually submittable. No, it doesn't seem like it because every time he goes for a submission, he gets close, or at least he expects to get close. But his opponent is so on his game that he's not giving him much to work with. This has been a beautiful display of grappling offensively, but also defensively. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Sarukyan going to work from guard here. Nice combination of strikes there. Very efficient, very effective. And the referee brings the fight back to its feet. No surprise there. Needed to see more action. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds. And it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. So we have passed the midway point in the fight. Wow, well, things are getting critical now. A lot of damage, a lot of blood in and around that eye. You can stop this fight right now. You can stop it right now. I mean, I don't understand what anyone's waiting for. They're giving this guy a chance. But if he doesn't do something different defensively, it won't last much longer. Islam Hashem gets the double leg takedown now. Oh, he's attacking choke now. That dark choke is tight. Oh, wow. Oh! Oh, I thought he was going to go out. Instead, he escapes and reverses. He didn't go out. He got out. Great job defensively by the fighter. Nice strike from the bottom fighter there. Attempting a choke now. Ooh, this could be it. That thing is tight. That arm triangle is deep. Great submission defense on full display by the opponent. While well, the crowd continues to react with every passing land, but if you're the referee or even the corner, somebody's got to get involved out there. Somebody's got to do something. It's getting very uncomfortable to watch this. And as the crowd gets excited, there's also a little bit of that. Yeah. I don't want to see any more going on in their reactions. Well, as many expected, his grappling has been very strong thus far. The takedowns, the ground control, he is truly the total package. It's one thing to take your opponent down. It's one thing to control him, as we have seen him do over the course of this fight. All 
right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. Final 30 seconds of this third round. Oh, beautiful fight instinct there as he reverses position, and now he's got the dominant position. He did a fantastic job recognizing, man, I have got to get on the offense. From bottom to top to dominant position. What a great job. Oh! Seconds winding down in round three. That's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship rounds. All right, so that round is in the books. Tauragant's eye is in rough shape. I mean, I would just probably quit, but he's not going to do that. But I would not be surprised if the ringside physician did come in and take a look at that here between rounds. All right, so as the cut man gets to work, we'll re-rack some replays from the previous round. Well, he's got some work to do. The cut man's going to have to work a miracle because this guy was on the receiving end of some real damaging shots. And if he doesn't do something different defensively, it's going to get worse. And if it gets worse, the fight may be stopped. You ready to fight? You ready? We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go with our fourth round of a possible five. And a lot of fighters change up their training camp from the fighting five rounds versus three. Yeah, you got to change it up. You have to mix things up because fighting for it. Oh, he's got him hurting here. Oh, he lands a big left hand. Now we're going. Oh, how about the ankle pick? Man? Well, if the single leg, the double leg's not working. So deep into the well, and the ankle pick was there for him there. Boy, you got to keep digging into that toolbox. He has so many different attacks. We saw that right now with that beautiful ankle pick. Reversal to top position by Sarukyan. Great shot from the top position. On oh, another punch on the ground gets through. May need some defense here. Sarukyan is looking to pass from full guard into half guard here, but he's denied. Not being just offensive, but offensive off of his back. Great punch land. All right, half guard position here. We'll see what he can do with it. A lot of weapons at his disposal from this dominant position. Oh, man. I feel for a wrestler, this is the most dominant position in all of fighting because wrestlers love control. Right. And to have your upper body free and your leg able to hold your opponent in position, it is like striking goals. Build your posture. Throw your punches, big damage, but then always control the far side. Underhooks, this is a great position for a top fighter. Nice positional control here. Well, this is a tough fighter to buck off. Very good pressure and work here by Sarukyan. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Oh, shades of the Godfather with a ground and pound Mark Coleman as he lands again. Only somewhere smiling watching this guy land from the top position. Well, you know this is the hurt business, and both guys are compromised at this stage of the fight. Yeah, both guys are compromised. Both guys have been beat up. Both guys have done a great job of landing, recognizing what they wanted to get done, and it's showing. This is a very evenly matched fight. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Just over two minutes to go in the round. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he got cut on the eye from that last strike. He's got to pay attention now before it gets worse. All right, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. Sarukyan is back into full guard. Big power shots landing. Oh, 
Really doing a nice job getting these shots home on the ground. Again, not much defense there. Another ground strike gets through. Under a minute to go. Oh, these are some serious power punches from the top by Islam Makhashe. Side control now. Makhashev's got him in a crucifix now, gonna go to work from the top. He has done such a great job of targeting that cut that now he has his opponent in a critical situation. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Are working on the ground here, his opponent's feet on the hips. Well, he's grounded him, and now he's trying to pound him out. Great ground strikes here. Horn sounds for the end of round four. All right, good news is the round is over. Bad news, Tarakyan's eye is in real trouble, folks. That does not look good. I wouldn't be at all surprised to see the ringside physician be called on here. He might even stop the fight, we'll see. All right, let us now get you some replays of all the damage done in that previous round, including the strike that opened up the cut. Yeah, some nasty strikes landed over the course of that round, and it opened up a nasty cut. He has got to find a way to change some things defensively or that cut is just gonna get worse and worse. And the worse it gets, the more he runs the risk of this fight getting stopped. Ready to fight. Ready. We have arrived at this fifth and final round. Saragon is cut on his cheek, is nasty, leaky, leaky. That thing is leaking bad now. with that right hand. Lands a jab. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more... Oh! oh, judo toss. Made it look easy. Oh, hard ground strike there, and that one opened up a cut. Changing the position. Makhachev's in half court. Oh, big shots from the top. And there it is, another strike on the ground gets through. Saragon is right back to the full mount. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head like through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. It's right. very dangerous. But if... Well, not good body language from his opponent here, DC. He's curled up. No, he's exhausted. He's been beaten. Another strike hits that eye area, and it is getting messier by the minute up there. Well, he's getting targeted now. He's been hitting that spot so many times that his opponent sees the cut, and the cut is advancing. Sarukhan is back in full I mean, at this point, you just have to do something. You, know, you have to maybe start trying to pull guard, grab him, pull him into you to try to change it and get him in your realm where you have the advantage. Tower Johnson, he set up a beautiful submission. Oh, he's got the Kimura position locked in now. Oh, gives up on the submission now. We'll see where he goes from here. Oh, right into Mount. Under 
two minutes now to go in the fight. Good work from the top here by Islam Akasha. Arm triangle attempt here. Nice arm triangle setup. Oh, he's in trouble here, DC. He's got the triangle with a lot of pressure going down on his opponent. Oh, that's gotta be it. Oh, somehow, some way he got out. These guys are back and forth, but the submission defense wins this transition. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Lands the ground and pound strike. Under a minute now to go in this one. He's very accurate in the ground and pound and it's showing because he's landing so consistently. All right, we told you we'd keep an eye on it, DC. That cut is starting to open up wider now, and he continues to target that area wisely. But well, when you saw it right away, it wasn't that bad. But as he continues to target it, you can start to see it opening up. Look for him to continue to go down that route to try to get this victory. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Looking to land the right just out of range. Final 10 seconds of the fight. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Oh. Uh, back and forth action right till the final horn. What a tremendous finish to this one as we go the full 25 minutes. All right, so an epic 25 minute championship fight here tonight. And it seems like the incumbent has done enough to retain his title. They say every time you're fighting, when you're the champion, you get the biggest, baddest guy in the entire world. So of course it's gonna be close, but I believe the champ did just enough to retain his title. We'll see how the judges saw it. Here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 50-45, 49-46, and 50-45. Declared the winner by unanimous decision, and still the undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Islam Makachev. All right, so there he is, and still UFC lightweight champion at 155 pounds. That's saying something, right? A murderer's row of contenders, and the number one contender, no match for the champion. Tonight. For a long time, we talk about 155 as the toughest division in the entire UFC. Tonight, he shows why he is the champion, he's been the champion, and he will stay the UFC lightweight champion.